Hello, my name is Marcy Jacqueline, and this video is for TREN 1F90 students, and it's about using APA style to cite some of the information sources you need to find for your assignment. We're going to start by doing a uh, search in Super Search on the library homepage, and the example I'm going to be using is bird watching, and I'm going to truncate that so it picks up bird watcher, bird watching, and many other variations, and tour, which picks up tourist, tourism, etc. And search. So let's start by looking for, uh, we've got a set of 314 results, and they're listed here. And let's start by looking for books. So I'm going to update this list, and out of the 314 results, I find 13 books. In fact, it looks like it's picking up some chapters and books. And what I would first I want to find a book in print in the library catalog. Okay, and just know that you actually don't need to borrow the book to be able to cite it. In fact, you have all the information on this screen that you would need to cite it. So I'm going to go to a second screen right now and open up um, the library homepage to show you a really good uh, style guide for APA style. So uh, for the library homepage, go down the help menu to writing and citing. And on the left side of the screen, choose style guides. And here's some style guides for APA style and many other styles. But the second style guide from Purdue is quite useful and easy to use. So you can see the way it's set up is that it lists uh, different topics here. And we're going to start with books. And when you click on the link here, what it does is pop up a format for citing a book and then give you an example. And you can see that you need the author, the year of publication in brackets with a period here. Be very careful and precise about how you cite information. Notice that the title of the work is in italics and that you need to capitalize the first letter for a subtitle, a period, location, semicolon, and publisher, period. So now if we go back to our previous screen, we'll see that this information is all available. There's the title. It's actually an edited book, place of publication, publisher, and the year. Okay, if I go back to my previous screen, you can see the next entry after basic books is for an edited book with an author. So this is the format you would follow for this particular item with a bracket ED period bracket. And there are several other variations on books here, articles or chapters in an edited book, for instance. Okay, I'm going to return to the database now, and I'm going to now have a look at the ebook full text. So we're going to click on this link. Now most of the information we need to cite it was on the previous page and I'm going to go to the Purdue guide now and notice that now you need to look for electronic sources. So even though it's a book, it's an electronic version and this is going to list a number of items uh, for different, uh, for citing different types of information. Okay. And if you search down the page, you'll see here's the style for citing an electronic book. So ND just indicates there's no date, but if you know the year, you insert it here. What will be different with an electronic book is that you need to write retrieve from or available from and give the website 
that the location is from. And if we go back here, you can use this or uh, you can use this. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to return to my search and we're going to look at a different type of format and I'm going to update this. And this time we're going to choose uh, news which will be similar to magazines or trade publications and update this. Okay, so you can see that this is a little bit different than a book because we have um, a year, a month, a day, and a volume and an issue for most of these items. And in some cases there may not be an author, which is kind of typical for newspaper articles and or magazine articles. So now we're going to, and you can, and most of the information for citing it should be clearly here. We're going to return to our Purdue site and in this case we will be looking for articles and periodicals so remember this is if the periodical the newspaper or the magazine is in print so here's your example for an article in a magazine and an article in a newspaper and see that there is room here to include not only the year but the month and the day because you need that information to be able to locate it as well as the volume and the page numbers. And it's very similar for a newspaper article. If it is an electronic resource, then again you need to go back into the menu here and select electronic resources and search down the page for an electronic newspaper article and you can use an article from an online periodical with or without the DOI for the magazine. DOI is just a universal number that indicates where an electronic version of an article resides on the internet in a permanent basis. So let's go back now to our database and we're going to change the format type again. This time we're going to choose academic journals and update. These citations will be much like a magazine or newspaper article and again most of the information you need or all will be on this page. So the title of the article the authors, there's usually more than one, the title of the journal, the year, the volume, the issue, and the pages, and in this case a DOI number. I'm going to switch now to the Purdue site and again we have the same situation. If it is in print, you choose this link. It gives you the basic information, the authors, and notice how they list multiple authors, so author's last name, comma, first initial only, second initial if it's available, at periods following both, comma, space, second author, comma, space, first initial, etc., etc. Make sure you follow this format, bracket, year, bracket, period, title, title of article, and then note again and note that the title of the periodical is in italics and followed by the volume number and the issue number if it's available, comma, pages, period. Again if it's an electronic resource you can cite it either this way well here's the basic format and information about using the DOI And what happens if you don't have the DOI available, much like before you'd be citing the website that it came from. If we scan further down 
the electronic resources, you'll see that there is also ways of citing chapters or sections of a web page or an online book chapter, book reviews, but also some other sources that you might want to consider using, such as a dissertation, an online encyclopedia or dictionary, data sets, graphics such as maps or other graphics, online interviews, online lecture notes and presentation slides, web documents, pages or reports, computer software, email, online forums, blogs, Wikipedias, audio podcasts and video podcasts. So again just follow the information that's given to you here. Keep in mind the whole point of doing this is so that people can find the information again. So if you've cited it correctly then people should be able to go right to this site if it's still available on the web. This is just a brief outline of APA style and in fact you can actually find a more detailed manual under writing and citing, style guides, APA, and the print manual, which is quite detailed. So it's on reserve or in reference in the library.